Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton. I'm a practicing physician assistant of more than 30 years in nutrition, prevention, and integrative medicine, author, health educator, and host of this show, the Staying Healthy Today Show. Today's show topic is cocaine dependence and N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine is a sulfur-containing compound, better known as NAC, N-A-C, and its most famous use is actually in overdose of paracetamol, or acetaminophen, or what we know as Tylenol. And it's used, and the theory is it helps make glutathione, which helps detoxify, and it's an anecdote for the poisoning from that medication. Um, we also use it as a mucolytic agent to break up uh, thick mucus in the lungs, and possibly it does that by making glutathione. Well, in this case, they took 1,200 to 2,400 milligrams of N-acetylcysteine in people who were, had a cocaine dependence, and what they found out was that it didn't help people stop the cocaine addiction, but those who got off, it helped them not get back on and reduce their cravings for the substance. And it may work by most addictive behaviors, foods, chemicals, they increase dopamine in the brain and people like that and they go back and do it again. Well, in this case, glutamate is also elevated and it's an excitatory neurotransmitter and it's an elevated in cocaine addiction. And what N-acetylcysteine does is it makes a molecule, a sulfur molecule called cysteine, which pushes the glutamate out of the cell and therefore it helps reduce uh, the, the desire for more cocaine or the substance. And it's used in obsessive compulsive disorder and other things like that. So, very safely, you can use 12 to 2400 milligrams of N acetylcysteine. Now, I would always do this under a doctor's supervision. Addiction is not a simple one shot pony. But you would take it with food, it may give a little GI upset, but that's one thing you could do. Now, in addition, I always, you have to do diet. With any addictive behavior, you want to have controlled, slow-release blood sugar. So the most important thing is you get off all processed sugars, you get off all processed carbohydrates, and the easiest way to do that is just don't have any baked goods or chips or crackers or breads or anything like that. Just eat your grain in a bowl or have the best lentils, peas, uh, beans, uh, whole grains, squash. Those are the, the best long carbohydrate foods. And that way you control your blood sugar and that helps a lot with cravings for other things. Um, good B-complex vitamins, adrenal support, vitamin C. There's a lot of other things you can do, but stay with diet and um, you might try N-acetylcysteine and talk to your physician about it before you try it. So, my name is Kirk Hamilton. This is the Staying Healthy Today Show. There's a link to the abstract um, in the description below this video and some other resources. And Until next time, stay and be well.